Hi everyone, this is Abrar. Welcome to Abrar Knowledge Channel. Today's topic is on many tab tips and tricks. So what are the things which we are going to unfold today is many tab layout and toolbar settings and changing the default setting. So for example, many tab offers you the default settings. Uh, we can also optimize it by changing slightly and useful shortcuts of many tab. And this is going to be a Lean Six Sigma 53rd lesson. And in the mini tab, precisely, it's a 27th lesson as such. Let's have a go. So this is the shortcut I have done. So the word uh, itself, I picked up the, you know, the full form. For example, M I N I T A B. Let's say you wanted to have a control M. That means session window will open. So session window is very useful. We will see the benefit of the session window in upcoming slide. But just to give you a gist of session window, which will give you a complete analytical history about an event, about whatever the analysis you do. For example, in GRR, you wanted to find out the NDC and all that. Control M, you will get the entire uh, session summary. And then Control I, Project Manager. And uh, Control N, you can open up a new worksheet. To do that, Control N is used. So we covered M, I, N, I. So let's go for I now. Control Alt I, show the info. There is a small icon called uh, Info. We will talk about it. And control tab is, uh, you know, to switch the windows. For example, you have multiple windows within the mini tab and you wanted to switch it. You can switch through control tab. And then control A, just like a normal Microsoft product, how you do control A uh, does the same function in mini tab also as well. It selects all, including graph. That's the beauty. Yeah. Control break, you if you wanted to uh, discard the macro or executive graph or analysis, you can use it. So this is just a gist of everything, but not limited to it. So I have also covered various other shortcut also as well, which I will be walking you through on it. So let's talk about the uh, you know menu bar, screen layout, right? So in this screen layout, you have Four thing that the whole screen of many tab is being divided into four part. One part is called menu bar. In the menu bar, you will find file, uh, edit, data, calci, stat, graph, uh, you know, editor and uh, window help and assistant and so on. So I just wanted to give you a small high level tips. Uh, you know, the graph window, all the graphs, like a scatter diagram, you know, you have a dot plot, you have a color chart, all these comes, you know, straight away the graph. It doesn't do any, it, it, it is not purely a statistic. So if you wanted to portray any data, you, you can do it. Whereas the stat is opposite. So all the technical things, for example, Pareto, you wanted to do hypothesis, you wanted to ANOVA, you wanted to do GRR, you wanted to do ca process capability, all these uh, control charts, all these the key thing comes in stat one. And then you have a calculator, calculator where you can write the expression, you know, both the rows and column wise and get this expression. And data, data is also very useful. For example, you have a data you wanted to convert into week format, and uh, you have a data type called date and you wanted to convert week format and all these changes let's say uh, you have you have a point zero i mean point eight zero you wanted to convert into percentage so all of these things is possible with the help of data so this is all about high level menu bar let's right beneath the menu bar you have something called toolbar this is very interesting toolbar has got just like the normal one it has save option it, it has various other option which we will be walking you through on it and then you have uh, this bar called menu i mean session window session window session window you will also will get the summary and all that that we talked about it generally we can close it uh, minimize it and use when it's required and then worksheet data so where you will put this data and all that 
remember uh, the one which I, I was talking about mini tab opens up with the row zero uh, you know the uh, row zero that means that one uh, row is being dedicated to header that's so this is all about the mini tab uh, layout so it has got four section one is called first is menu bar then you have a toolbar then you have a session and then you have worksheet data window let's have a go so toolbar more specifically we are going to zoom out this section here yeah? so the toolbar we are going to talk about it toolbar first thing is let's say it has one dozen 12 icons in it so the first icon let me use the pointer uh, first icon is show session folder very very useful very useful yeah so if you do control m you will get this icon and where you will get both the technical things and uh, all these statistical as well as graphical output you will get it and then you have show worksheet folder it will give only the spreadsheet yeah so in the spreadsheet it, it will not give any graph and then the th next one is a graph only it will give a graph but show session window it gives both yeah it gives the uh, basically this window is a combination of these two so it gives the uh, you know the statistical summary and graphical summary both comes together in this one but uh, so when you talk about separately if you angle it out so for example uh, session window gives only session and if you wanted to graphical window gives only graph okay we talked about icon is also useful actually like uh, it doesn't give the graph but actually it gives a technical things you know the uh, the what is the column id what is the count and so on and so forth how much missing data if you wanted to you have a large number of data and you can go info and you can see which are all the things are missing for example sometime copy paste we might have done any mistake right so those things we can take a look on that and then you have show history uh, it's not widely used but uh, show history will give you all the history and show report pad uh, if you wanted to have anything been recorded you can do that and changing the layout is very very fascinating all these changes so the default settings if you wanted to make a use of it you can change it for example a mini tab offers a lot of default settings and that can be adjusted through using you using options options yeah in the file you have options you can change it and that is being located in tools menu and under options yeah so for example session window session window you have only 93 character is a default one and you wanted to make it a little bit bigger like 100 because maximum is 132 capacity you wanted to make it 110 115 or something like that you can do or you want the maximum one the large table you wanted to fit better into session window like then you can do 132 itself next one is my favorite called my footnote so graph annotations for example particularly in graph particularly in annotations what we need is we need the metadata like you know what is the date of uh, the chart generated who did and what is the time and date and all that right so how we can do those things automatically generated you don't need to every time you need to you don't need to dictate that you know what is the chart name what is the when it has been modified when it has been created and who created and all that so what you can do is you can just declare in footnote uh, by by doing that so it automatically captures your time date time the last modification to the chart and can be switched on from here yeah. so remember that footnote is very very powerful for example let's say uh, every time what you have in one of, um, for example if you're giving dot plot or pareto so when you give a pareto you have to it, it you know, many times will give you only pareto right it does not give a title unless we specify it so if you if you do if you leave this in the footnote what will happen so it will automatically stamp for example it will pick up from the worksheet let's say worksheet is uh pareto for department a it will pick up from it and then stamp very very useful please make use of it and then individual graph box plot uh, this allows you to choose the percentile inches and quartile you can do that and control charts also with if you wanted to specify some limit you can do that but most um, widely widely uh, you may need is my footnote 
let's talk about the shortcuts yeah in the shortcut uh, we have i mean i have divided the uh, the topic into several things let's say when you talk about the file uh, so control n it will open up the new worksheet altogether right so when you give control sheet let's say you have a data and you have another data so control n it will spread the new it will open up the new thing and then if you wanted to open control a uh, control o that is same like the normal one and save control s and print the one control p these are all the th same thing you can use it for normal microsoft and as well as for many tab and when you talk about this is normal from the file angle if you you may need to open the file you may need to save the file you may need to create a new file you may need to print the file in all of these things this is the one for example very simple how i remember is a uh, uh, new worksheet new new is a word control n and then open a project wo is the keyword right open and save control s and print control p so it's easy right from the file you can directly remember those first word and you can do that and mini tab window uh, in this one you have open command line editor you can give control m session folder very very useful control m and control data window if you wanted to go to data window you can go uh, go to control d and project window you can give to i and switch windows you can give to control tab and then you have uh, the some of the uh, you know the, some of the key tab key uh, you will also will be submit the comment command uh, one you can give a enter uh, add a line break control enter go to the next uh, comment so you can give f2 and so on so this is also uh, you know specifically like you want to move around and all that these can be used and we'll talk about the graphics yeah so when you do a graph uh, so close the active graph this is same like a microsoft product uh, you know when you wanted to close this one you can give alt f4 and duplicate the active graph uh, give f3 the same like in in excel how we do for example you have uh, some uh, for example i love india you wanted to repeat the same thing so you, what you do is uh, control f3 that means the same action will get repeated in the mini tab also is, is happen the same thing uh, so this is uh, control i mean uh, if you wanted to edit control t this is very interesting control t will edit the entire charts for example if you wanted to add x axis y axis you can do that and editing the cells so this is very very useful very very useful because in the worksheet this is what we will be doing it what we may do we may do copy we may do paste we may do cut we may do uh, delete we may do uh, you know find we may do replace and all that same like microsoft it does the same thing for example copy control c paste control v and uh, you know cut control x and you have uh, in, uh, you know you have a select but only thing is while uh, pasting it you have to be clever uh, so the you have to select the entire array and paste it so otherwise the value will get pushed off for example let's say mini tab carries 10 line item and you wanted to uh, you no know, paste uh, two line items sometime when you paste it the the value get, may get shuffled may get pushed off right you have to select the array uh, to to item to cells you need to array select and paste it find control f and uh, replace control h the same like uh, you know excel and normal uh, you know the microsoft product dialog boxes uh, can also be used for example edit the previous dialog box control e is widely widely used just like control m and control e is also when you wanted to see that in for example you have plotted the graph for uh, pareto and you wanted to do it the same action control e and you can change this uh, settings and uh, you know options and all that and reset the default this is f3 this is very very useful uh, whenever we we take anything because the mini tab register the active values right so when you give f3 it will delete off so we can just so that will prevent the problem right for example let's say you wanted to write an expression and automatically let's say uh, the, the expression was for cp cp you wanted to write for cpk if you don't clear the window what will happen is so that you may end up writing the same formula or giving the wrong title right f3 is widely widely used to delete off the existing uh, reset the values yeah and move forward and choose cancel and all that it's a normal features okay and then in menu you have shift uh, f10 you open the shortcut menu if you wanted to do in the mini tab you can do shift f10 
and if you wanted to control break it will cancel off uh, the execution and project manage, manager this is also uh, uh, useful a session folder again uh, you wanted to go to session folder uh, then you can go to control alt m session all these folder you have to add the word called alt control alt m session folder control alt this worksheet d and graph is control alt g so thank you so much i hope this video is very useful and on the mini tab we talked about the layout we talked about the my favorite called mini tab control m control i and then you talked about control n and all of these things we talked about and uh, and we, we then we talked about the after the layout we also talked about what are the ribbons it has and we in depth how to change the default settings and then the shortcuts i hope this video is very useful for you please stay tuned for the further videos please do like share and subscribe my channel you have a wonderful day